Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about winter tyres but I thought rather than just standing in front of the car like um, a few people said they don't really enjoy those videos but we'll take you out for a drive um, and talk about whether you really need winter tyres in the UK or not so let's get in Okay then guys, so you join me inside the car and um, I thought I'd try a slightly different camera angle today just so you guys can see more of the inside of the car rather than just sort of up in the corner or strapped to my head. So um, let me know your thoughts on this, um, be interested to hear what you guys think, I think I'm always up for trying different things but um, yeah let's get into it. So it's, uh, it's a freezing, well it's not quite freezing, it's three degrees out this morning, um, lovely sunshine and just a lovely winter's morning. We had a big storm come through last night, which um, was taken down a load of trees. Uh, my girlfriend left um, about five o'clock this morning and said that there was floods and trees and everything. Um, I'm actually popping out to grab some more essential supplies, so for those of you who are concerned from a COVID point of view, um, that's that's my reason for being out, but I thought we may as well make a video while we're out here. So um, what I want to talk, talk about today in uh, today's video is going to be about whether you really need winter tyres in the UK or not. I mean we've had a fairly um, mild winter so far today, um, so far this year. I mean we've had a little bit of snow but nothing really to cause too many issues. Um, so we've barely even had, I can probably count on two hands the amount of days we've had under zebra as well so far and um, I know our seasons are shifting somewhat um, with winter tending to be more sort of January, February, March time now with the snow and ice and everything like that. So I'm well aware of um, the fact that we're sort of not quite out of the woods yet in terms of the winter weather. But yeah, like I thought, I'd, we'll talk about winter tyres um, because it's been a topic. There's quite a few people who are sort of don't believe that you need winter tyres. Um, I think this is a really common misconception. I think they don't quite understand how winter tyres work, um, that you don't just need them for snow, you can also use them for general winter duties as well. So um, we're going to talk about that really, um, and perhaps some alternatives if you can't quite afford a winter set of tyres, because let's be honest, these are expensive winter tyres. I think a set for this car is about £800, and £800 on top of another set of summer tyres, granted you do sort of half the wear, um, because of the fact that you're swapping them for half the year, but um, it's just just an expensive investment to make, um, but it could be quite an important one. So the reason winter tyres sort of came about is because a lot of us in the UK run summer tyres, uh, which are such as the Michelin's um, Pilot Sports, I mean on GT we got a standard Michelin Pilot Sport 4s, which are a summer tyre as standard. Uh, we've also got Bridgestones on the X3 which are quite summery. Um, they're not very aggressive tread at all and they're all sort of designed to give good performance in dry weather and give good fuel economy and realistically uh, they're quite a hard compound which means that they suffer in colder temperatures. Now winter tyres were designed mainly for use in Europe, in the US and Canada and they're made of a much softer compound which means that they can warm up quicker um, and they respond better in colder temperatures, they give you more grip. Um, they've also got a much more aggressive tread pattern as well, they they tend to have what are called sipes uh, which go down the tyre rather than just the um, notches in the tyre like a lot of us have here in the UK. I mean, we'll, we'll get past this tractor in a minute, don't you worry guys. Um, and it's Actually, that brings me on to the fact that the winter tyres, a lot of their tread is quite like tractor tyres, the way you get that angled um, siping, whereas normal tyres, we all know what normal tyres are like, they're quite flat uh, with grooves in and the occasional notches to really um, displace water more than anything. So, um, again, uh, summer tyres do give better fuel economy because winter tyres will um, 
sap more of the, the energy from the car due to the fact that they're obviously softer, um, they've got more rolling resistance, they're generally noisier as well. Um, so a lot of these things would make you think, well, why do we really bother? Or why would you why would you bother getting okay, this tractor here? Why would you bother going for winter tires um, if really they're not as good? Um, and that's because they do give you much better performance in colder temperatures. Now let's be honest, in the UK we probably spend two thirds of the year in um, sort of around 10 degrees. Um, we get we don't really have a summer, um, although we have did last year in the lovely summer. But we don't really have a major winter either. But actually, a lot of the summer tyres prefer to be in temperatures sort of around 13 degrees upwards um, to be at their optimum operating temperature. Now, winter tyres, like I said, prefer the lower temperatures, so you sort of then get this issue with the in between. And that's when all seasons have come about. Now, all seasons are sort of the traditional um, tyre in terms of. Well, they're, they're, the name says it all, they're all seasons. So they're a tyre that you can use in every season. And they give, again, a perfect blend of summer tyres and winter tyres. But in the UK, obviously, we do have these times where we have serious snow and ice. And actually, if you look on the news during these times, you'll see that the, the country descended into absolute chaos. Um, there's, there's pictures of motorways shut down, there's pictures of um, police cars crashing and everything like that. And, it's all down to the tyres guys, I mean you can, you can be the best driver in the world but if you don't have decent winter tyres or decent um, all season tyres then you're going to really really struggle in terms of maintaining your grip. I know you, you guys probably can't see anything and neither can I, um, the reflections on the road from the state of the sun, um, but uh, yeah, anyway we'll carry on. So yeah, you really, you really do see how much winter weather impacts us here in the UK and it, like I said we're, we're just totally not prepared. I mean in the States I was watching Ted with the other day and he was sticking winter tyres on his M3 uh, so it just shows how much of a ritual it is over there the fact that you stick winter tyres on in the winter. In Europe for example there are certain countries where it's illegal not to have winter tyres. Uh, they have to have a, a three peak rating uh, which is uh, sort of a standardised global rating for a tyre's performance in the winter. And there's certain roads that they won't let you drive on, um, no matter what time of the year it is as well. So, from that point of view, I think the Europeans are much more aware, um, perhaps, than the British. But, um, going back to whether we actually need winter tyres or not, as I mentioned before, um, all seasons are sort of becoming the new norm, and I think all seasons are becoming so good now is that actually the necessity for winter tyres is somewhat negated. Um, I would only really bother with winter tyres in the UK if I was living in the highlands of Scotland or um, up on the Yorkshire Moors or something like that where you're likely to get a lot of snow. Down sort of in Herefordshire, Cotswolds, South, that sort of like the Midlands really, um, we very rarely get any snow whatsoever. Um, so, the necessity, like I said, is somewhat negated in terms of whether you really need winter tyres. However, what I will say is that you do need a good set of all-season tyres. And now I'm not just talking about a generic, cheap all-season tyre. I, I mean like a proper specialised set, such as the uh, Michelin Cross Climates. Um, I have those fitted to this car, and I, I'm a bit of a tyre nerd. I've, I've spent weeks and weeks researching this um, what would be the best tyre for the car because I don't really want to at the moment I can't afford to buy another full set of tyres and be swapping them and swapping wheels and things like that um, then you've got some then you've got to find somewhere to store them and I'm currently living with my parents so I don't have anywhere to store tyres um, and if it wasn't for Covid I'd have my own place by now but um, it's, it's just throwing everything up in the air but um yeah, so winter tyres do come with their own problems. I think all seasons are a fantastic compromise. These Michelin cross climates, as you can see, we're going through lots of surface water here. These are fantastic in both summer conditions and winter conditions. I've taken these up in the snow, um, and I was going past 4x4s um, who were stuck in the snow. 
in a front wheel drive car, which I think is just testament to how good these cross climbers are. Summer wise, they perform just like the summer tyre, and they do have quite a unique tread pattern, which uh, does give a little more noise. Um, but I think you need to make these compromises. If you, if you want perfect fuel economy and top performance in the summer, then you're going to need to buy a pair of summer tyres and a set of winter tyres. You, you can't have the best of both worlds um, perfectly. But I would say actually, these Michelin Cross Climber Pluses, and now they've released the Cross Climber Twos as well, which are even better, they are the, the perfect compromise um, for UK weather. So, um, yeah, so that's that's my personal opinion. I mean, I'd be really interested to know what you guys say. Um, whenever someone comes onto the forums, the Volvo groups, or the BMW or Mercedes, asking about tyres, I'll always recommend the cross climber tyres because they're something you just stick on and forget about. Make sure the postman can not take his door off. Um, and from that point of view, I think they really, really can't be beaten. There are obviously other alternatives. Uh, I think Bridgestone make one. Continental started making them, and these tyres are three peak rated, although they're only all seasons, which means that they're legal in Europe, um, sort of in the Alps, places like that. And they really, really are an accomplished tyre in, in all weather conditions. Um, the way that the, the tread is designed is that it actually pushes water out. Um, you'll notice that it's a much more of a horizontal style tread rather than a vertical tread. And what I mean is is where most tyres have straight lines down them. These Michelin's don't have any of that. They have uh, like a sort of V side, a bit like a tractor tyre, uh, which when the water hits them, the water is then pushed out from underneath the tyre, so you don't get aquaplaning, or the effect of aquaplaning is much reduced. And yeah, it's just, just a really, really quality tyre. And I'm not paid by Michelin or anything to say that, I'm just saying from my personal experience, I've been really, really impressed by them. So um, yeah, that's that's it for today's video. Just a quick talk about um, whether you really need winter tyres or not. I've now got to go and get a, a chicken um, and some various other bits of food um, from a local farm shop. So I'm going to go and do that. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.